So we're gonna start here first, and then we're gonna connect those together, connect those together, um, and then connect those together. Um, and I mean, from that point, it's they're gonna be connected. So if this is just for show, and you wanna be lazy and just, you know, make it so the squares stay together, you could end there, but I like to go the extra step and then I will sew those together, those together all the way down. So I'll end up um, having a bunch of seams. But, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, oh, that one needs to be flipped over. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that. So for this, you are going to need a yarn darner. So that's just, let me put it over here so you can see. Um, it's just a, a larger needle. It's usually pretty blunt at the end. That's usually used for yarn. Um, and then the other thing you're gonna need is yarn. I would recommend, depending on your colors, either like a gray is good because it's pretty neutral. All right, so we are going to start with this seam here. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my first two, I'm actually gonna start over in this corner, okay? I have my yarn darner ready. Um, so you are gonna put the string through and I don't know, like this much yarn maybe. So I'm gonna cut it off. All right, two. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab these two in this far corner here. So again, the, the correct sides are facing each other. So I'm gonna put those back together. I'm gonna pull all the way through. So I've attached that, and sorry, I know that was a little bit out of frame, um, but I just all I did was I just I connected those and tied a knot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab. Do you see how there's the front loops of here, and then there's the back loops? So I'm gonna grab the front loop of the color that's that's closest to me, and then the back loop of the color that's furthest away. And all I'm gonna do is pull the yarn through. And then I'm going to, oops, I'm sorry. Same thing, I'm gonna go back loop, front loop, like that. Oh my goodness, pulling in, I'm lassoing other squares. All right, go back there. All right. So it's pretty simple, even if you're not very good at sewing. I know I'm not good at sewing, that's why I made a minimal sewing kitty couch tutorial. Um, this is pretty, pretty straightforward. And if anything, um, it will help you with your sewing skills. And maybe you can gain a little confidence too. Oof. All right, so you should end up with you know, the, the first stitch and the last stitch lining up, even if you don't, it's okay. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so. Oof. What on earth? There we go. Okay, so. This is what it will end up looking like, okay? Now it's good to double check. So you just sandwiched these together. For me, I'm always gonna start on my right and go left. So I know that when I open it, okay, that this needs to go on top and this goes on the bottom. So like, like this, okay? And not like that. And I know that again, because I ended the yarn this way. So that, that wouldn't make sense because I know I tied my knot that way. So that's how I know it goes here and then I open up. But I would recommend double check with the pattern just to make sure that you have the squares in the right place. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna keep my yarn, I'm not gonna cut it off, um, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna sandwich 
my next two together like this. Oop, so I got my squares here and I'm gonna do the same thing except I'm just not gonna tie a knot. So I'm gonna go through my first two here. I'm gonna pull, pull, pull. Okay, so making sure that my, um, that my blue is touching that dark blue because that's how when we open it up, that's how it is gonna be in the pattern. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take the back loop and the front loops. Make sure you pull it tight so they're together. Again, I'm so sorry about all this cat hair, my goodness. Both of my cats, well, you've probably seen them in my other videos. They're about, I don't know, like say medium hair or so. And so they just shed all the time. What you're gonna do is, after I'm done with that one, I'm just gonna continue, whew, um, I'm gonna continue down the line. So I'm gonna sandwich those ones together, connect, 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 all the way through. Um, so I'll let you guys do that and then we'll start the next row. All right, so at this point I finished my last row and I went ahead, so it looked a bunch, <laughs> looked a bunch like that. So I just opened them all up, just make sure they looked okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and at this point you would tie a knot um, and secure the ends, etc. But we're just going to go ahead and move on. We'll get that later. So now we are going to start again. I like to go this direction. So when we sew, we need to make sure that when we open it up that this row is on top. So we're going to put um, the good sides are together. Same thing as we did before. We're gonna start in the corner, pull through, go ahead, tie a knot. And I probably should have cut a little bit longer piece of yarn. I'm just using the same one as I did before. But no problem, if you run out, you can always add more. All right, now we're ready to begin. Okay. So just like we did before, back loop and front loop. Oof. And the first one might be hard to find. That's okay. I'll be honest. I'm just kind of kind of guessing on the first one. It's all right. All that matters is it's connected and isn't going to come apart. So I have now completed all of my horizontal seams and I've essentially opened them all up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it vertically and we're going to just going to do the same thing that we did, but we're going to do it along the vertical seams. So how we're going to do this is we're going to flip over our work like this. Okay. Um, and same sort of thing. We are going to fold our work onto itself so that the the good sides are facing each other we are going to tie a knot we are going to sew just like we've been sewing we'll finish we'll go ahead we will do the next so then i'll fold the next row onto itself i'll tie a knot i'll sew 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 finish and then i'm just going to keep doing that so i'm going to keep for each seam, I'm gonna fold it in on itself. And then the last one we're gonna do is this one, okay? You do not need to sew like anywhere along here because these are already, it's already connected, okay? And then we're gonna add a border at the very end anyway, so you won't need to uh, worry about the edges. All right, so to show you what I mean, we're gonna start right on this, um, on this first one here. 
So I'm gonna fold my work in on itself. I'm gonna start at the corner. Pull through. Then I'll go ahead and knot. Now we're ready. All right, so as I get to the part where I've already sewn, I'm just gonna go ahead, find the loops that I can and again, since it's already attached, it really, it doesn't have to be perfect um, because it's certainly, it's not gonna come undone with that other seam. But we just, we want it to look even and we want it to look nice. All right, so this is the one where originally when I connected it, it got really loose. Okay, so there's kind of a gap. So this is a perfect opportunity to tighten that up a little bit. And that's part of the reason why I wasn't too worried about it at first, because I knew we'd be coming back around. Oof, there we go again with the strands. Um, I knew that we'd be coming back around, so didn't want to worry about it too much. Um, and if you want to quicken this up a little bit, you could actually skip stitches. So what I mean is instead of doing like going through every single one, so like instead of going through this one, then I'll skip and I'll go through that one. Um, since we are doing the other seam and we already know it's attached. The problem with that sometimes is if you, if you don't do it evenly and if you pull too hard, sometimes your work can get bubbly or like ripply. Um, and it just, it doesn't lay as flat. So that's why I'm, I'm just taking my time and going through each one. All right. And again, we'll, we'll add a, an edge. So it's okay if I don't go all the way. All right. We'll go ahead. I'll make a knot. Uh, however you want to do that. I don't really have a rhyme or reason. I just kind of go round and round until it gets tight. All right. Very good. So we'll go ahead and cut. So you're going to do that same thing for all of these, all of these other seams. So you just grab your work, just like we did, go through um, for every single one. So I will flip it over just so you can see. Ooh, what a sound. We will move that. All right. So this is the one we just did. So as you can see, it's very secure going both that way um, and along here. I've now finished all of my seams across and up and down. Um, and when you turn it around, you guys can see I've got lots of tails. We're going to be tucking those in at the end, but we are going to go ahead and get started with the border. <laughs> 